just the other day, we saw the release of Budgie 10.9. Now, normally, I wouldn't talk about a Budgie release, but this one is very special. Early porting efforts towards supporting Wayland. Budgie 10.9 features some initial ports of various applets and components of the Budgie desktop to a Wayland compatible library, libxfc for windowing libxfc for windowing is an abstraction library developed by XFC that attempts to present windowing concepts, screens, top-level windows, workspaces, etc. in a windowing system independent manner. It aims to accomplish this by supporting X11 through libwnck and support for various Wayland protocols, e.g. the foreign top-level management and various other protocols that you're going to want if you develop a Wayland compositor. So this is that protocol. Project. Now, the concern that I have, and I'll get more into this a bit later, is whilst they do have X11 fully supported, Wayland is marked as partially supported through various Wayland protocol extensions. However, this full range of operations available X11 is not available on Wayland due to missing features in these protocol extensions. That's going to be very important when we get to the other post. While libxfc for windowing is under active development and not yet ABI stable, we choose to already adopt it to make the transition from Budgie 10 under X11 to Budgie 10 under Wayland as seamless as possible because the X11 site is complete so they can make changes to the Wayland stuff without affecting any of the functionality on that side. libxfc for windowing enables us to port functionality to support Wayland without negatively impacting us under X11 and facilitate early dogfooding when our porting work is complete as in the developers running it on their own system so that they can, you know, better understand the problems without having to go through external bug reports and more effortlessly flip the switch to support Wayland and fully drop X11. Right now, however, that porting work is very, very early on and there's still a lot of work to make this production ready. Now, Budgie 10.9 takes into use Budgie Session, our soft-ish fork of the GNOME Session designed to provide a stable sessioning manager for Budgie 10.x. Budgie Session 0.9.x is forked from GNOME Session 44.x, ensuring that we retain X11 related session code up until we are ready to switch Budgie to being Wayland only and also console kit support for our BSD friends. So if they're relying directly on GNOME session and then GNOME was like, you know what? We're just gonna drop X11 now. They would be forced to do so, so it's better to have a fork now before it becomes a problem. And that is the project in question. Feel free to go and check it out if you would like to. But the important part that I want to focus on is the until we are ready to switch Budgie to being Wayland only. Because a couple of days ago, this also came out. State of the Budgie, 2023 in review and goals for 2024. Now the plan is not to be like XFC, where they have this basic Wayland tooling, they have some Wayland roadmaps, they have some very experimental Wayland stuff, but it's been in that state for a couple of years, and it's probably going to be in that state for a couple more years. Budgie has some wild plans. Across 2023, we had a total of 15 releases spanning our Microcosma projects in our organization and the addition of three new projects, Budgie Backgrounds, Budgie Session, and Magpie. Additionally, the team significantly shifted its development focus in mid-2023 towards moving Budgie 10 to being Wayland only. While this did mean that some efforts on Budgie 11 were deferred to this year, it also accelerated other areas with a focus on tackling one of the biggest components, the Wayland Compositor, that could be used for both Budgie 10 and Budgie 11. While our goal in 2023 was only to start experimenting with Wayland Compositors and to take the learnings from those experiments to apply to a future Budgie WM Compositor, Built for Budgie 11, we made a significant shift in our development focus starting middle of last year to accelerate our Wayland plans and work towards Budgie 10 being Wayland only and continuing to be Wayland only going into Budgie 11. This was in recognition of several major developments in the broader ecosystem that we covered in our Wayland post, simply titled Wayland. When this came out, I did a video on this. It is a really great post. I highly recommend that you go and read it, but I'm not going to read it again here. In that lengthy post, 
We covered our experiences at that point with W Root as well as XFCE's Lib XFC4 windowing library, which provides us a library which supports both X11 via Lib WNCK and Wayland via various Wayland protocols at the same time. This is especially useful as we iterate on making Budgie Wayland compatible while using it at the same time. And I'm happy to report that progress on Wayland support has been steady on all fronts since our shift in development focus to it. Now this is where it gets really, really wild. The plan they have for 2024. So this first point has already been met delivering Budgie 10.9 that was done a couple of days ago. Secondly, expand on various definitions of work for the year related to Budgie 10 in the areas of Daemon and XDG Flatpak Portal. Getting Budgie Desktop running in a Wayland or x -Wayland session for better testing. And early game development work that was deferred last year, some of this work will be done for the purposes of bridging the existing Budgie Control Center and Magpie V1. I'll get into Magpie V1 in a moment, that is their Wayland compositor. So, for Q2, our goals are round out any remaining Wayland work in Budgie Control Center and Budgie Desktop specifically, so it should be usable under Magpie V1. Begin any portal work defined in Q1. Okay, this is not something they had started. So they are starting the portal in Q2. For Q3 and Q4, our focus is to deliver a Budgie 10 series release that is Wayland only. As we iterate on that series, we will continuously evaluate if it is ready to be daily driven by the wider community. I don't think that they're going to have that done by Q3 or Q4, but that's a very ambitious goal. Keep in mind, this is a project going from no Wayland support to working release. Now, it'd be an early release. It wouldn't have everything done, but a release for a desktop environment. Now, Obviously, they don't have to build every individual component themselves, but that's still a lot of work in not that much time. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying that there are other desktop environments and it's been taking them a long, long time to get Wayland support done. Now, it might not be as little progress along as they make it out to be. On the compositor front, the progress by Campbell Jones has been fantastic as well. Budgie's Wayland compositor codenamed Magpie V1 was started in the form of a separate project called Flyaway at the end of April 2023. Since then, Magpie V1 has been fleshed out into a reasonably functional window manager with support for things X11 could only dream of. It's still a ways away from becoming ready to integrate into Budgie proper, but you can already use it to run Wagerroid and games through Steam, though variable refresh rate and direct scanout support are still pending. Well, if you don't support variable refresh rate, that puts you in line with GNOME. Now, I need to make something very clear. We have been talking about the Budgie desktop environment, and Budgie has said many, many things in the past that didn't end up happening. Toolkit changes are sort of a running gag with the project. However, I have spoken with the lead developer, Joshua Strubel, and whilst doesn't have a crystal ball and knows exactly what will happen in the future, anything could go wrong. But if things stay on the direction they're currently going, he thinks that it's actually doable in 2024. When I asked him, he said this. Having Budgie 10 be Wayland only provides us a lot more breathing room to focus our heads down on Budgie 11, since we don't have to be concerned about the floor of Exorg falling out from underneath us and causing us to have to rush Budgie 11. That isn't to say there isn't a metric load of work to do, but Budgie Desktop itself is actually the simpler part. And he also said this in the blog post. When we've considered that to be the case, we will officially put Budgie 10 into maintenance mode. Maintenance mode for us means that only changes to facilitate Wayland support and bug fixes will be addressed. This maintenance would be performed by a dedicated Budgie 10 team, enabling those focused squarely on Budgie 11 to be able to dedicate more time towards its development. Aside from this just being a lot of work to do, my major concern is how far can libxc4windowing actually take you? The Wayland side of that 
is very, very, very far from being done. And it doesn't claim to be done. They know it's not done. Everybody is aware that this is still very much in active development. I have no doubts that they can get it into a state where it is ready for the developers to go and mess around with stuff, to go and test stuff, and daily drive it on their own systems. But I still don't think we're going to be seeing a production release that is ready for the average everyday user to actually go and use it. At least... Not for another maybe year or two on top of that. If they can do it, and not just like do it as in they have something, but actually getting into a good state that is comparable to what they currently have. That is going to be insane. Now they do have the advantage of skipping the first 15 or so years of Wayland arguments going from that initial design specification and then explaining no, this actually will not work in the real world, we need to add this and this and this and this. Basic things like having client-side or server-side decorations. You didn't have the option in the beginning, there wasn't a protocol for it, that took multiple years of discussion to finally get that protocol, now they are both supported. That stuff all being addressed and doesn't need to be rehashed again. This is not to say that every single Whalen problem has been dealt with, it's just those problems have been dealt with so they can jump all the way up to where everybody else is currently at. And then hopefully over time get these further problems addressed that finally bring us to a point where all of the use cases that you want to have on X11, not all of the use cases that are possible, but all the use cases that people actually use, supported on Wayland as well. And just like I've said about Fedora doing things just a touch too early, you know, maybe a year or two a bit too early, I think Budgie is doing the exact same thing here. There are still legitimate problems that need to be dealt with. I know the recent NVIDIA driver, the 550 driver, supposedly fixes a lot of the existing issues. So, Maybe that's in a much better state. I don't have an NVIDIA card to actually test it. But somebody has to be the first. And I thought maybe that would be GNOME or maybe KDE. But if Budgie wants to be the first desktop environment that's Wayland only, somebody's got to do it. And hey, I wish you the best of luck. So let me know. Do you happen to be a Budgie user? Maybe you're a Cinnamon user, or one of these other desktops that are getting their basic Wayland support finally started. And what do you think of going in this direction? Do you think this is a good idea? Do you think that maybe it's a little bit too early to go Wayland only? I would love to know. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon subscribe to the pay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and Majuriga.